Hey everybody, it's Rob Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we're taking a look at the Taurus Model 66 7 shot revolver. Stick around. Alright, so yes, this is a seven shot revolver. Um, like Taurus has done many times in the past with other designs, uh, they actually paid Smith & Wesson for the rights uh, to basically copy the Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. Uh, so this is very similar to that. I don't know if it's at the same quality of materials as Smith & Wesson, um, but from so far, that we, you know, when we've shot it, it seemed to shoot really well. Um, it could use a little trigger work maybe, uh, but overall it's a good shooting little gun. And what's great is if you're like me and you tend to miss a lot, you get an extra shot. So that comes in handy. So let's see if we need that seventh shot as we try to take out the bowling pins. That one, I hit it, I can see the hole. It literally went right through the bowling pin. That's right, still went down. Oh, that one missed. Yep, no. There we go. So uh, one thing I've noticed on this, and this is probably something I'll take to a gunsmith and have worked on, it is really tight getting the rounds out of there. So I might have to take it in and actually get the cylinders honed or polished or something because it doesn't like to eject. All right, now we managed to knock those out of there. Uh, let's see how we can do on the 60-yard silhouette. Just high right. Oh, I hit it most of the time there. We'll get this loaded up and see if we can do some more. All right, we managed to hit the uh, 60 yard silhouette with some decent regularity. Let's stretch it all the way out to 100 yards, have my uh, lovely assistant zoom in on it, and see if we can't hit that 100 yard silhouette. Whoa, way left. Let's see where that one went. Low left. Hey, hit it on the last shot. I'll take it. Oh, no, not last shot. I have one left. Let's see if we can ding two in a row. Nope, that one went left. Let's throw some 38s in it, and uh, we'll see how it does with 38s now that we did a bunch of 357s. Maybe they'll extract a little easier. All right, we grabbed some of my favorite little 38 special, 148 grain double-ended uh, wad cutters. Uh, I really love shooting these just for, for plinking around. They have like no kick at all. Let's try to see if we can hit our little hostage popper there. Oh yeah, let's go down the gong rack. Oh. Missed one. And those came right out. No problem at all. Yeah, this is a fun little shooter. You know, it might not be up to snuff as far as like the Smith & Wesson, you know, the original 686 Plus. Um, but it's also not nearly as expensive. And I think it's a pretty good value for the amount of money you'd actually spend on it. Um, I've seen these brand new for around $400 or so. And uh, yeah, it's a great little gun. And this one actually belongs to my son. This was his 17th birthday present. Um, just felt like a little, you know, four inch 357 mag. It's super versatile. It's a great first real center fire handgun. There's so much you can do with it. And so that we figured that'd be a good way to get them started. It's a rugged little pistol. 
And yeah, it's just a lot of fun to plink around with. Let's see if we can hit our little, our little baby gong over there. Usually ends up being hard to hit. There we go. We hit it. Let's see if we can hit it twice. Nope. Let's go back down the line. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Nice thing about the revolvers, they never jam, they just always run for the most part, you know, unlike a semi-auto. And, you know, with me uh, reloading, there's such a wide variety of ways this could be loaded up. Anything from, you know, real big, heavy hunting bullets down to these little uh, target rounds and everything in between. Let's do some, uh, let's do some double action here. Let's do double action on the target pop. Oh, a little bit low. This definitely could use a little bit of an action job. The double action is kind of weird. Um, it goes real, real hard until you kind of crest a hill, it feels like, and then all of a sudden it just goes the rest of the way rather quickly. So it really kind of catches you by surprise. Um, so an action job to kind of tune it up wouldn't be bad, but it does plenty good even without it. Let's come down and hit some targets that we haven't hit yet. Let's go double action, get that last bowling pin out of the way. That slows down, I'll hit the top one. Oh, no, I won't because I already ran them all out. I got to hit everything at least once. Let's do one more little cylinder full here. These little double ended guys are just a blast. I loaded up several thousands of these years ago. I ended up with a like a coffee can and a half of these bullets. And I just sat down one day and loaded until I loaded them all. So I have an ammo can full of these things. And I just, I love shooting them. Let's get that top of that spinner. Up just to the left. There we go, let's hit the bottom. Hostage popper. On the edge of the silhouette that's all right yeah you know for a for a low cost plinker um something you wanted to maybe uh carry while you're hunting that's kind of the main thing we got this for for my son is something to, to pack around while we're deer hunting elk hunting that kind of stuff um you really can't go wrong with four inch 357 magnum that has such versatility in what it can shoot and what it can handle um this little gun really is built like a tank and We've really enjoyed shooting it a lot. So if you're if you're looking for a budget 357 Magnum, Taurus model 66 is really cool. Uh, like I said, this the seven shot, you can get it in a regular six shot as well. They make speed loaders for both. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fun gun. So I'm really glad we kind of add this to collection. Although once my son moves out, I guess it's gonna go with him, but I may borrow it from time to time because it is a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um, I'm sure you guys know what this is about. If you watch any gun YouTube, just put a thumb in it for Scott at Kentucky Ballistics. Um, you know, he can't make any videos right now while he's recovering. Go buy a shirt, watch some of his videos, help the guy out. He's a great guy and a big influencer in the gun YouTube community. So try to support him if you can. And thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you on the next video.